just after Valentine's Day here in North Carolina in 2024, and it's finally heating up. And as soon as that happens, we all start thinking about mowing. If you are new to needing a mower, we're going to try to help you with this video. I'm Matt Merritt with King Machinery, and this is a video about what kind of mower you might need. We're going to try to help you make that decision, and specifically riding mowers. Um, as I grew up, the mower on the end here, the red mower, is what I always called a riding mower. The technical term for this mower is actually a lawn tractor. The technical term for this mower is actually a zero turn. And then the mower on the end, the technical term for it is a stand on. So these are three types of riding mowers you can have. You can buy any of these types in all different sizes. We have tons of different sizes of them right inside here at King Machinery. But I wanna go over them and uh, try to explain to you what the differences are so that if you are shopping for a mower anywhere in the world, you can at least understand what your options are and kind of be ahead of the game. So we'll start with this first mower stand on. Typically, these are used by people that are in the landscaping business. This mower in particular is pretty interesting. Actually, it's got only a 34 inch deck. Um, you would stand on it to operate it. If you come around here with the camera, I can just show everybody really quick how narrow and easily you could load this on the back of a trailer. You stand on this here, there's some springs to kind of help you with your, uh, the vibration of running the mower if you're going over bumps and things. Your fuel tank is very easily accessible um, and it's got this pad that you would lean on while operating it. In the control station, you have a brake, an e-brake. This is your throttle, your choke, obviously your key, your PTO your drive handles, and then these are just here for you to kind of rest your fingers on. Um, so if you see a mower that does not have a choke, that means it's uh, fuel injected. So that's something to be looking for if you're new. Um, it's not fuel injected, obviously, if you see a choke on it. So when you're operating this mower, each of these drive handles, and we're gonna have the same sort of thing with the zero turn in a moment, but each of these handles operates a hydraulic pump that operates the tire on each side. So if I push this one forward, that tire goes forward. If I push this one forward, this tire. So if I wanted to go exactly straight, I would push them together at the same time. In reverse, pull them back together at the same time. To spin, you just do the opposite. And that makes these mowers really handy because if I'm mowing in a straight line and I get to a tree, I can simply turn around and go back without circling the tree and putting it in reverse and doing all the things that we'll get to with this other mower in a minute. However, there are disadvantages. You can't tow anything behind this. Um, you're not going to use it to put a sprayer on. You're only going to be able to cut grass. That's it. End of story. The width of it can change way up to over 60, 72 inches, I think you can get. You can even get a double, uh, well, maybe not in this model. Anyway, you can get really big ones or you can get these little 34 inch ones. I like this one because you can go through small gates between trees that are close together if you have shrubs or Maybe you have stuff out in your yard that you don't want to pick up and move. You can go right between things. So uh, anyway, at the end of the day, it's a stand on. These are typically used for people who um, have landscaping companies, but they're also good on hills. That's another thing I probably like to mention. I think you're more comfortable maybe on them because I don't think I feel as trapped. I feel like I could step off if I got into a bind or in a dangerous situation um, pretty easily. Uh, again, you're going to always want to test drive anything that you buy, and we'll get into all that as well later. This is a stand-on, so a lot of people don't even know those exist. Move over here. We're going to talk about a zero-turn mower now. Option number two. On the zero-turn, you're going to have the same control options as you did with the stand-on. Each of these handles on my right and left hand operate a tire. Same thing as before. I want to go straight. I make them both go straight at the same time. Reverse. You can spin. This will have an e-brake on it. Um, you can hit this lever. We didn't talk about it with the uh, stand on, but your your blades are, are obviously going to be adjustable. You hit this lever and then you run your, your dial here to operate how low you want your, your mowing deck to be so you can cut at the height you'd like your grass to be at. Um, this mower in particular, you're going to notice has a really thick metal deck. That's a seven gauge steel deck. This is a Spartan mower. These things are made in Arkansas. Uh, we've had a lot of success with them and there's a lot of longevity in them, not only uh, because of the thickness of the steel, but when you look at the components in them, and this is something that, that's really worth showing everybody, you'll see why they last a long time. Neat thing about most all zero turns is how accessible things are. Obviously the motor's just right out in the open. 
your oil fill, your oil drain, your oil filter, fuses, all these things I can just reach and grab with no problem. Nothing obstructing anybody that wants to work on this machine, which is kind of nice. I know I'm 42 years old and uh, I already complain about the good old days when they made stuff where you could reach it, you know. So uh, with these zero turns, we're kind of back to the good old days. We'll lift the seat up. We'll show you what's under here. Um, this is the introductory model of the Spartan mowers. This is called RZC. I'll move so my shadow's not on this. Your battery's obviously easily accessible. And then these pumps, right? So remember me talking about the pumps that ran each tire with the drive handles. Um, in this in introductory model, the RZC, they call it, which is residential compact, you're going to have your inter introductory level pump. So these mowers should do about a two-acre yard is what you would be rated at. We have uh, we have mowers inside like the RZHD that can do up to five acre yard. And when you're talking about why it cuts, how much it cuts or how much it's rated for, it has nothing to do with the mowing deck. That's what everybody thinks. Oh, that 60 inch deck mower, that should do a five acre yard. You can do any yard with any width deck. What you really want to care about are the pumps because these pumps are rated for a certain amount of cutting hours. So let's say you have a five acre yard. Well. It's going to take you whatever amount of time to cut your grass. Every time you cut it, you're going to cut it once every two weeks. So you can do a little bit of an equation there and you can come up with how many hours you plan on using your mower. So you want to get a mower that lasts 15 years, get a mower that's cutting what you're supposed to cut. It's like getting a Ford Ranger and hooking a big giant trailer full of weight to it. Um, it'll work, but it's not going to work forever. It's eventually going to tear that small truck up. You need to move up to a dually or like an F-350 or something. So, uh, be very mindful of how much grass you plan to cut. Let's say you have a one acre yard and your neighbor is an elderly person with a three acre yard and you, you plan on mowing their grass as a favor to them. Well, you're going to stress your mower if you get this smaller RZC. You're going to be putting it through a little bit more than it should do. Now, will it do it? Absolutely. But you're going you're gonna to shorten the life of it. So think about how much you're cutting when you're making your choice, no matter what mower you get, and look at the pumps and the longevity of it. Definitely encourage you to go to a dealership that sells mowers and has a service department. Um, I'm not going to call any names, but there are certain box stores that you can buy mowers from. And when you do that, great. Not knocking the mowers, not here to say one product's better than the other. I'm here to tell you though, there's no service department. So when you do have drama or if you need to service your mower, you're not going to be able to get very much help. And that's just the nature of what you're doing there. So think about where you're buying, how much you're cutting, uh, also think about your terrain. These are really, really, really good on hills. If you look at the two, these two mowers, or these three mowers even, you, you notice how the wheelbase is on the stand-on. You notice the wheelbase and the width of the zero turn. And then notice the wheelbase and width and steering components to this tractor here. These are going to do much better on a hill than this is. If you're on a hill mowing sideways, you can maneuver to get in and out of the hill easier. With this one, you're sort of stuck with the back drive that you're going to have in the tires. Um, so terrain, the amount of property you're mowing, price point, obviously, for everybody, and uh, look for a service department. Let's talk about the last mower in the lineup. This is a lawn tractor, like I said in the beginning of the video. Really simple to see why it's called a lawn tractor. It's shaped like a tractor, and essentially it is a tractor. You can hook a little trailer to the back of this guy. You can drive around in your little cart and pick up limbs. Um, we have a lawn tractor at my house and uh, we have a side-by-side. -side. So while it's being repaired, my kids will take a little wagon and this is what we feed our horses out of. They'll carry the hay in the back and drive to the lots the horses are in. So very useful for our family. It does take me longer to mow than I want to. Um, you know, I, I'm a pretty outgoing guy and I like to be as fast as I can. So I want one of these so I can get done much faster, but these are fine. These do the job. And in this particular mower we have because of its price point here at King Machinery. It's affordable for people that don't uh, have access to as much money and they don't need as much. This is a perfect mower. Uh, you just need to take care of them, change the oil in them, and definitely wash these the deck out and keep them clean because if you leave grass in these more thin stamped decks, uh, they're going to rust and you're going to have some some drama. And when the deck goes bad, you might as well get a new mower. They're, they're, it's just a big bunch of trouble to try to repair that. Uh, pretty easy to operate. You got a clutch to start it and, and to stop it. You were going to have to go forward and backwards a lot with this. So with the zero turn, I could drive over to this tree and just zoom right around the tree and continue on. With this, I'll probably end up with my turning radius out on the gravel road and then backing up and going forward and backward. 
Uh, so that's what takes you longer. It's not even the speed as much as it is the stopping and backing up and going forward and backwards. So uh, I guess maneuverability, I'm going to give the stand on and the zero turn A plus grade. And then I would put this guy like a C, uh, B plus or a C even for um, how much you can maneuver it versus those. The fact that you can tow something and use uh, this sort of like a little bit of a lawn tractor, I would I would give this a, a higher grade than I would those because they're almost just mowers. The, the zero turn you can use to pull some stuff behind and they make trays for the back of them. Um, I know like if I were to put a spray rig on the zero turn, you have to pull both handles in. I'll sit over here so I can kind of explain. If I wanted to use a, like spray the weeds around my swimming pool or whatever and I had a tray and I had a spray wand in this hand, it is kind of difficult to maneuver with one hand these two controls, but you can do that. While if you're on the lawn tractor, you could put a spray rig in a wagon back here and you could easily control one hand as you drive around. You could spray all your weeds and stuff. So just think about all the different options that you would have and make sure you go somewhere. Uh, we're in North Carolina. We have uh, two locations about to open our third. And uh, we, we care about servicing and, and, you know, having a customer that lasts a long time. So find a company like that. I'm not trying to sell our mowers or sell you on us. I just want you to make a good decision. And those box stores, you're going to get a fine mower usually. Uh, you're just not going to have any help afterwards. So think about that, too, when you're making your decision. Um, I don't know if you have anything else you want to ask us about making your decision. You can pop it in the comments here. We would uh, ask that you do us a favor and subscribe and like and share and help us grow. Uh, we're just like you. We've got a business we're trying to make even bigger and we want to do that by helping people the right way. So thanks for watching our video. Again, I'm Matt with King Machinery and this has been a video on you making a decision on a riding mower. It's King Machinery helping you enjoy the land that you love.